What is up, everybody? This is Sean Astley with another episode of Total War Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai. I think we are on episode 13 now, and we are continuing our story following the newly formed Republic of Satsuma as it fights against its enemies that are allying itself with the Shogun in order to not only preserve its existence, but also to bring democracy to the rest of Japan. It's been a pretty fun uh, series so far, guys. I've really enjoyed recording it. Uh, let's see. Last time we had a really awesome two-part battle here in Setsu that's caused uh, the remaining forces to combine and under one. Uh, we more than likely got rid of the Daimyo, maybe even the Sun and Air. We, we took out some important leaders of the Yodo clan, so it was a strategically really great battle. Uh, Mikawa is being swarmed by an untold number of agents from the enemy and we also suffered a pretty horrible defeat here uh, right here in the port of Hayuga. The Iron Fleet as I'm calling it is just unbreakable and I have no way that I can think of of how to get rid of these guys. So today I'm going to focus on some uh, basically the borderlands I want to try to keep Makawa under control. And I also have some forces that I'd like to ship off and try to get uh, into some deeper coasts. Uh, see if we can't do some kind of behind enemy lines raiding. Uh, da -da 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 -da. On top of that, we've also got a situation here in Hoki where some uh, Yanago... Uh, well, actually, it's really Satsuma rebels are coming to take Hoki, and I guess the original owner of this region was the Yanago clan. I don't think we actually waged war against them. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Truth be told, I can't remember. Um, or maybe an old enemy uh, captured this, like the Obama clan. And Either way, these guys are tired and sick of getting traded around, and I guess they're still loyal to the Yanago clan from when this game started, I guess, like 10 years ago, according to this little calendar and they want to reclaim their identity. Uh, it's, a, it's a troubling thing, you know, because um, there's nothing uh, worse than having to fight against your own people, but whenever they don't leave you any other choice, then that's all you can do. So that's more than likely going to come to um, a conflict or come to a, a clash. I say, We've well, also got an enemy shinobi running somewhere around here that's threatening the life of our good daimyo Shimatsu Hisamatsu or Hisamitsu there we go and I'm bringing this foreign agent in to hopefully flush him out and assassinate him for good he escaped last time so we're gonna hopefully get him this time um, over here we're also doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of raiding getting some of that extra trade look at our income it is ridiculous um, so that is where we are at today guys so I have the end turn sequence shorter now, so I don't think we're going to be seeing um, enemy movements. I have realism mode engaged. This is on hard mode, by the way. I don't talk a lot about that, but this is on hard mode. So uh, I considered moving it up, but being so far in the campaign, I'm not so sure about switching the difficulty, but I am trying to make it challenging in almost every other way that I can, just to up the ante that much more and bring some more excitement. So I'm looking at our army here. We have finished recruiting a couple of cavalry units, and we can still recruit a couple more guys. Uh, looks like we could benefit from another unit of sharpshooters. And when I look here, it's kind of hard to say where else we might be able to benefit from some more units. But you know what? Another thing a sharpshooters would actually be pretty helpful. They're really great at uh, taking out wall defenders and siege battles. Looks like Yamato can bring in some new uh, things. They're technically um, on a border here, because this isn't actually Kawachi territory right here. So we could put in some guns, and let's see what other buildings we have around here. So we have ways to recruit other military units. Oh, and the charge is improved. That's right, because of uh, our temple. 
So, I think that having a training camp here would be great because we can upgrade that, I think, to a jujitsu school or some kind of a uh, school that makes melee infantry more effective. So we can really maximize that there. We have this guy just chilling. Um, oh, right. We've also got this kind of stray fleet. It's the last of the Yoda Navy. Looks like we might be able to go for it, but we don't have the movement points for it this turn. Anything else we can do? Go ahead and throw that up. And there we go. Um, I believe we ended mid-turn, so that's it for now. Let's make sure. I, I believe that I tested the, um, or I checked our settings right before streaming, so we shouldn't have any issues with, uh, what am I saying? What am I talking about, guys? Where's my mind? <laughs> shouldn't have any issues uh, where when I hit end turn, it's going to show every faction's move. So it's just, it gets a little bit old, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, let's hit that magic button, and make it happen what wait no I hit the button it says oh wait oh dummy I accidentally checked the box I like had a dyslexic moment that's fine <laughs> I checked the box thinking that it was if you check the box then you won't see their moves but I accidentally checked so that I would Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. That's really not a good sign. Oh. Looks like one of our ninja is down. The other one lived. And a general that I don't know. I have no clue where he's at. this right over here is what concerns me the most because I saw those stars and now they're gone so either this the general was killed or he's wounded I have a feeling that when it's all said and done it's going to be me versus the Oda Warrens I feel like they're going to be the last ones left. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> I know how that's going to end. Down to the depths of Davy Jones' locker. Oh, no. Oh, man, he was one of my greatest generals, too. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, man. It looks like our general has breathed his last. These agents aren't playing around anymore, guys. Look at that. Our... Yeah, he's gone. Oh, man, that's depressing. He was one of our better generals, and I think he was actually an adopted son. So, man, that's... Yes, my lord. This guy just barely escaped with his life, and he's still not really safe. Looks like we have a master assassin in our ranks. But really, the one who killed him was this guy, which... How? I mean, this guy's like a noob. We also lost one of our ninja. And I saw there was something about an assassination attempt. Ah, 
Ah, here we go. He let himself be known. I say, what's a clock? We may not be able to save the general's life, but we may be able to save the daimyo's. Well, I will defend my honor. Bang. At least our daimyo can live another day. And while our general did not die in combat, which is probably the general's preferred way of death, he at least died in service of his cl his clan and his republic. And maybe we can avenge the death here. But what's... I'd say that the most dangerous person to leave alive is this ninja, so... Let's have a master ninja versus master ninja duel. Okay. Well, Michitaka, you have lots of targets that you can choose from. Take your pick. Which one do you want to? Um, which one do you want to take out? There's like nobody left in that army. These Oda Warrens are probably coming from these two. This South Shinano is kind of, it's like a weird enclave of theirs. There's a couple of those kind of mixed throughout. A couple of generals here. We have a few agents there. Yeah, we lost that general, I believe, to an assassination. What is your bidding? Pike. Pike. Go. It seems like these agents are the ones that are the ones you really need to work or look out for. Somewhere, I can't remember how it works, but there are places where you can have like upgraded shinobi. I think it's like if you have a um, an upgraded dojo. Like here, maybe. It doesn't matter though. It'd be good to recruit another one. Uh, okay, so kind of taking care of that as much as we can. just of meeting them right out in the field. There we go.
day, sir, we attack. One thing's for sure is I do have a lot of those cannons. Oh, there's the general. Oh. Dang. Down with the rebels. General still going for it. Your men have killed their general, sir. Very nice. Have some routing. That was pretty cool. Got into tight quarters, that close melee combat in that little town was pretty legit.
lost a decent amount of guys there. But it was a good fight. And most importantly, we've defeated the rebels and sent a pretty strong message to our enemies. those two troops together. Absorb them. Awesome. Ready for orders. Boarding. Setting sail. Very nice. We have four units there. Yeah, I think once we get these guys to heal up a bit, we'll be able to supply some more troops up on the front. We've got this combined army here. It would be a good idea to push up. Let's move in everybody except for them. Actually, what's our public order? Okay, so it's a total of 15. So I have to leave four units. Three. And... And four. Orders, my lord. Nice. Push them out. A lot of it is kind of leftovers. Up to your command. Up to your command. We'll march them back. May as well just build up. There's really no reason not to. Oh, and these are our guard infantry. That's right. I forgot that we had these guys here, so they've been stuck moving, so they, they can't even go anywhere. Garrison provides just the right amount of public order. Part of me almost wants to just like pull away from Akawa, but that's exactly what they want. Ready, sir. Setting sail, sir. for a new course. All hands on deck. The sea begins, sir. Getting some scouting done. And while we're here. Where's our little island? Here it is. Yeah, not much of a chance of recruiting any decent units here. So we'll need to leave at least one unit behind. Uh, 
Yeah, I got that like Monday dragging feeling, you know? Where you're just kind of like, uh, it's the beginning of another week, I have to do things. I've been working on getting my fall college schedule put together. I'm transferring to a university out of a community college this semester, which is really exciting. Um, but they do things a lot differently at uh, the school I'm going to. And some of the things are kind of like annoying. <laughs> so there seems to be some discrepancies on what my bachelor program is supposed to require. And I might have to take a class at their main campus, which is about an hour away, as opposed to the one here in the city that I live in. And uh, their parking passes over at the main campus are $250 a year. Oh my gosh, why do I need to pay that much just to park in a parking spot? And I had some friends on Facebook telling me that the parking spots are crap anyway, so it's kind of not even worth the money. So I'm looking at like public transit, but I live in Texas and public transit is almost like a sin here, unless you live in Dallas. <laughs> so that's also fun. So my best option is more than likely going to be like just finding a uh, like a nearby store or something to park and just kind of walk once I get into town. So, kind of trying to figure out what best options are for me and all of that. You know, it turns out I registered kind of late. I didn't know. I registered early by community college standards, but according to the university, they've had their registration open for months, and I didn't know that. So I'm kind of getting, like, some of the last picks. And I'm a perfectionist at heart, so I'm like, oh, this is really annoying. I wanted... I wanted the best of the best. I'm always on top of my stuff, and this isn't good proof of that. Um, but it's just kind of how it went, you know? So, I'm learning to make do. What I'm excited about is that next semester I'll have, I'll have all the advantages of being early. This is a good system. I like this for the Navy. Ready, sir. Oh wow, this is just my trade route. Oh wow, we're all already this far over on the map. Might not be a bad idea just to keep scouting. There's that port. Build a couple of ships, cause it's fun. Looks like Harima is going to be a target. Hmm, we could actually use some more infantry. I don't know. Have you guys seen a seen a train thing yet? These are kind of cool. It's not cinematically very amazing, but it's a really cool feature that allows you. You know, these troops were all the way over here at like Suo or Aki or something, and they just moved all the way up to Harima in just one turn, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, yep, we've done all we can here. Oh, man, I forgot to uncheck the box. Come at me, bro. this. I'm not a fan of this.
wish we could use our navy to just bombard these agents. Uh oh. Ah. Hmm. Odawara are always very busy. Hey, it looks like the Iron Fleet is finally leaving. Sabotage attempt. Yep, saw that. Sabotage, sabotage, blah. Hey, that's kind of legit. stuff built. It's what we do. Alright, before I forget, we're going to change our options. We're not going to show CPU moves. Now that the Rebellion's been put down in Hokey, Some more troops assembled. We'll wait about one more turn for them to continue replenishing. Looks like the Yodo are doubling up on Yamashiro, aka Kyoto. And here's what I'm going to do. We have two large armies. And we have the ability to recruit more soldiers in these two areas. We can create a joint force to go after Awari. And I think what I'm going to do here... First I want to see if my navy can reach them. They can't. We may pull off of Totomi. And just to keep the generals safe from foreign agents, I think we're. This is an idea I've had. Keep them on a fleet. Kind of hard to get a ninja on board a fleet. What we can do here, combine the armies, go after Owari, move the two in at the same time, and replenish units so that they're always well defended here. This army's pretty beat up. They could supply more troops to them, but they're probably not gonna. So, how many units can we spare? Hmm, wonder what that means. It's 15. So I, I can leave one unit behind. And when it comes to a siege battle, horsemen usually have a disadvantage. Two stars, or really one star. One guy 
down. And how many forces can you spare? Oh, you can actually spare uh, everyone. But that's not a wise move. Here we'll put in some black bear. I like to use those as defensive troops. Fuck your service. <laughs> put you here in Kawachi. For fun. So what we can do move. Let's see, what are our stat comparisons here? These black bear are actually pretty incredible. So we'll leave him just as kind of preventative measures. Ready and waiting. Your order, sir. And I want to see we can't knock one of these guns out. Prepare the gun. Nice. Got the port disabled. So now we can bring in some artillery. There we go. Softening these guys up a little bit. This will be a good capture too. We're going to be able to create some excellent melee infantry out of here. You guys at home. Hmm. They could even go for this, but the trouble is. Yeah, they'll be able to reinforce. So we'll we'll wait a little bit. We'll put them right here on the border. Ready for further orders. And if we're careful about it, we may be able to also move our general off the fleet. Time to start getting a little more aggressive. So we have 12 here. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. some agents keep the general safe at least until the attack is ready we can hide our army we'll combine these units together and we'll go for ya uh, Yamashiro these guys Yeah, check it out. Okay. So, seven public order. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Your next command, sir.
put these units together. Oh, and that's right. They're tax. They're exempt from taxes right now. So six, five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready for concealed from fear. Awesome. Start working on combining these troops together. I'll have some more uh, guys ready soon. Let's check over at our capital city. We have a pretty strong army and navy here. <laughs> and a lot of our units they keep getting taken out by foreign agents. Attention, you slovenly samurai. We'll wait for them to take the offensive, use our own defenses against them. Your orders, sir. Mm. Okay, still kind of holding out. Oh man, lots of spearmen. I think this is one our army can take on, no problem. And we have this nice little benefit too. We sail for glory. Battle ready, sir. Lots and jam. Get a couple of nice shots in. And yeah, this is gonna be fun. I think I like that. It's actually a pretty good, um, pretty good spot. I think that's the ideal spot there. Good day, sir. We attack. Seeing some birds flying around. That usually means... And this is something I actually read in the Art of War. It's, if you see birds flying around, that's evidence that there's something disturbing them. Can't tell if they're going to try to hold down and wait for us or not. The great thing about having the mini-map was you could tell when they were going to march towards you or if they were just waiting for you to make the move. 
kind of looks like they're waiting for us. And you know what? I'm fine with that. There they are. Starting to come out of into the view. And they're almost right within range of our cannons. our time till impact. Oh. for it. There they are. Give the order, sir. Cannonball gives you a good flyover camera. See the Odawara has gotten really good at using melee infantry, but the Obama clan still seems to struggle with how to use it. Your victory is close, sir. Man, if I was one of those guys on the line, it, my adrenaline would be pumping right now.
general, sir. That was easy. Get out of there. Anybody still hanging around? Hmm. Seems like somebody's still in this fight, but I don't know who. Ah, there it is. Very nice. I love seeing both lines of infantry being able to fire at the same time. It's so cool. We're at 53 minutes. How may I serve you? Pretty large Oda Warren force somehow has been linked up here. Not sure where they even came from, but here they are. Lots of money to spend. Uh, you know, I think we're kind of wrapped up here anyway. There's a lot of stuff that we can do. We're kind of at the beginning of a new turn, so this will be a great place to pick up. So what we accomplished today was pretty fun. We pushed the Yodo forces out. We took on the army here. We defeated the rebel, uh, the revolt that took place in Hoki. We've got some more troops that are getting uh, put together, ready for some more invasions. We unfortunately lost another general to an assassin here in Ise, one of our best in fact. Uh, so that's going to hurt our campaign, but we've now got a new strategy of keeping our generals on boats so that they don't get assassinated, and we're going to combine our armies and head for Awari while building up our troops to give, uh, give ourselves good defenses. We've got our navy flying out here doing some more coastal recon and this force is just holding down the area as always so that it can be a great staging point for further invasions so if you liked what you saw today please like this video leave a comment if you like and feel free to subscribe i'm putting up one of these videos every weekday and in fact i put one up every single day last week uh so weekends optional but almost every what i do is every weekday at noon till one it's a fun way to just kind of have some consistency. I play the game anyway, so I might as well make a series about it so that anybody else that loves these kind of games can come along and watch too. Whether you're on your lunch break or whatever you may be doing, I hope that I can help bring a little entertainment to your day. Um, and blog stuff. Almost got a nice two-part blog series ready. I'm going to be writing a couple more. I think I'm going to write up maybe four to six and then start scheduling them to be posted. And, uh, yeah, so lots of fun today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see what we can get accomplished next time on Fall of the Samurai. Shaughnessly, out.